I'm Lauren with Ohio Power Tool, and today we're here with Zach from Milwaukee. Welcome. Hi, Lauren. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming in. What did you bring for us today? Today I brought in the MX Fuel Electrofusion Processor Machine. Okay, what does that do? Uh, so, the Electrofusion <laughs> Machine is going to fuse uh, HDPE or MDPE pipe like this, um, mainly used by your gas utilities. Okay, so it essentially just is kind of like a welding tool, but very specific niche type of welding. Yeah, very specific niche to you know, the gas industry, the water industry will use it a little bit as well okay. uh, to make sure you get a nice tight seal on those pipes that you've got natural gas running through. Perfect. And how are people doing this kind of right now, prior to this tool coming out? Yeah, right now what they're using out in the field, you know, very large cumbersome um, machines that are weigh a lot and also run off of a cord, so they're running it off of a generator out of their truck, uh, so it requires them to keep moving the truck or the generator along with them as they go. This unit, uh, being only 34 pounds, will allow the user to pick up and move the unit along with them as they go, um, saving a lot of time and not having to worry about things like running a generator um, or, or moving a truck. Yeah, no, definitely. I was gonna say, when you first started off saying they're typically large, cumbersome. That's what this seems, but this is actually smaller than the standard yeah, on the actually, market right now. Yeah, um, smaller than the standard. This run weighs about 34 pounds with the battery in it still. Okay. Um, a lot of competitive units, you're talking 50 plus pounds. Wow, okay. And so with the battery, obviously that's being the MX Forge battery? Yes, correct. Okay, and that comes kitted with the tool. Yeah, so it comes kitted with uh, the Rapid Charger and 80 battery, um, as well as leads, and uh, a barcode scanner for the okay. couplers. Yeah, can we open it up and take a look at all that stuff? Of course, stuff? it's up. All right, it up. show me what you got. So what you'll find inside <laughs> is gonna be the 15 foot lead that comes standard with the, with the tool. It's gonna connect right in the inside of the tool here. Inside, you're also gonna have the fusion tips. The machine will come with the four millimeter and 4.7 millimeter fusion tips inside of there with onboard storage for the ones you aren't using, um, which is very nice. And then it'll come with the wireless barcode scanner. So it's not connected to the machine. It's got an internal battery in there that you can charge out of the machine or out of the wall just with a cord. Whatever you know, company is working on fusing their pipes and everything, they're gonna know if they need the four or 4.7 for the fusion tips, but they're included. All included. All yep. included, okay. And then the when they're going to actually do it, the couplers they'll have for whatever pipes they are working on, right? Correct. Yeah, they'll, okay. they'll have those materials. So there. how does it connect? Yeah, so you're just gonna take the paddles here, you're gonna connect this guy into the tool here, and then you're gonna take your paddles, connect them into the coupler. It doesn't matter what order you do it, there's no left or right, and then you would just take the scanner, scan the barcode, and then run your fuse. Okay, leave it on there, let it sit, it'll fuse it, and then it'll tell you when it's done, and then cool down. And does it tell you how long it'll take to cool down before you can remove everything? Yep, it'll, t it'll give you a timer, um, usually five to 10 minutes. Okay. You let it cool, and then remove the leads once it's done cooling. And it's good to go. Mm -hmm. And then you can pack everything right back up and move to the next one. Yep. All right, in terms of the type of actual pipe that someone is working on, like what is the maximum size that this can handle? Yeah, so this will actually handle half inch to eight inch couplers, okay. and then you can go up to a 12 inch saddle as well. Okay, so plenty of, depending on whether it's commercial, residential, just depends on whatever pipe, yeah. but it'll cover. That'll cover all the industry standard. Okay, awesome. It comes kitted with the 80 Forge battery. What is the average amount of fusions you can get out of that? Yeah, so you should be able to do 153 quarter inch couplings. Okay. You'll be able to do 42 inch couplings and then two eight inch couplings or 12 inch saddles. Okay, we threw the battery in and now we've got our lovely screen coming up asking us to scan. This one you brought in for us is clearly already fused, mm -hmm. but Let's take a, do you mind if we scan it and then kind of take a look at what all it shows? Yeah, of course. Okay. Scan it here, and then you're gonna see it pop up here on the screen. It's gonna give you the serial number of the coupling here. It's gonna get, read out some other information as well as how long it's gonna take to complete the fuse. This one will be 110 seconds. With the current charge of the battery, it's also gonna tell you you have 13 fusions remaining here. That'll change based on the coupler size of pipe. Right. And then um, another thing to note here too, is if the battery doesn't have enough charge to complete the fuse, 
it won't start at all. So the tool is very smart. Um, it'll make sure you're not making any incomplete fuses and there's no questions out there in the field. I notice it's also, um, is it just telling you the weather as like a nice added bonus? Yeah, so the ambient, te <laughs> the ambient temperature is gonna um, affect the fuse so that the tool is actually reading the ambient temperature, okay. taking all the data of the coupler and that temperature together to determine how long the fuse needs to go and as, how long that um, it needs to cool as well. Gotcha, okay, so it's kind of got everything all on the screen here and then obviously you can scroll through to get to all of your reports and whatnot, but basically it's just by each coupler you go to, you just scan and move on to the next one. Cool. So what's nice here, if you scroll through the menu as well, if your scanner ever unpairs itself, you can go in here and pair this, repair the scanner. Again, this is also field replaceable, so if it were to break, you would lose, you'd be able to replace it as well. There's traceability options, options to uh, put operator IDs in. You can set job numbers, go through the fusion history, export data, uh, and then if you need to see information like the serial number of the tool, how many fusions, or when the calibration date is, you can go to the About screen and go through all that data as well. Nice. And then also all the standard, like one key tracking and all of that. Yep, all through the one key app on your phone or on the desktop. Awesome. And that also means that all these fuses are going to be uploaded into the one key system. Um, if you'd rather not do it through the one key system, there is an option to put a USB thumb drive in here and then you would just navigate through the menus here until you get down to data export, and then you can export the last 2,000 uh, fuses or just all the fuses that are stored on the machine. Nice. All right, so in terms of like a calibration cycle for the tool, what does that look like? Yeah, so it's gonna be a three-year calibration cycle, and then you'll be required to send it into one of our factory service centers. Okay. Uh, that's just our normal e-service process with mm -hmm. the turnaround of seven to 10 days. Awesome. So that is just for calibration stuff, but if we were to run into something with like, you know, one of the leads breaking or something, is that replaceable in field? Yeah, that's another big key feature of this tool is there's a lot of field replaceable items here. All the leads all connect here to the tool and they come off. So if a lead does break, you can buy a, a new lead to replace it. Um, same with the paddles and with the electrofusion tips. And then you can also field replace the scanner uh, as well as this plastic screen protector as well. That was very thorough. It's definitely a very intricate machine. And obviously, you know, for a very niche thing, not everyone's going to be working on. How much does this go for? Uh, this machine is going to retail for $74.99. Okay. And when will it be shipping out? It'll be shipping out August 18th. Okay. So $74.99. This is definitely not for you know, your everyday person to add to their tool collection. This is clearly for a defined end user where this is something they're kind of right. in the ballpark on spending. Yeah, right. This is a very niche tool for uh, your gas utility operators. They're already using these electrofusion machines out in the field today, all at comparable prices. Okay. Uh, this is really Milwaukee Tools. Uh, first dedicated tool into the gas utility space, and we have plans to do even more. Oh, can you speak on the plans? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I tried. What does the process look like for a company to bring on a tool li like this? Like, is there any kind of approval they'll need to get since it's working with such Yeah, specifics? typically the gas utilities will have uh, their own tool committees. They'll take it through the tool committee, uh, and then it will go through their standards teams to be approved, go out to field testing, and then be approved company-wide. Okay. Um, and then there's a little more a capability within the tool after that to be able to enter an operator IDs, scanning your badges, um, because there are going to be certain employees who are certified to use electrofusion machines and others that are not. Um, so it's a good way to make sure that the right people are operating the tool when they need to. Great, so they kind of have their own user profile just saved into the tool and Great. they just scan on in. Awesome, okay, cool. Well, thank you for going over all of this with us. I know Thanks it was a, a lot of stuff, of course, welcome anytime, but I do wanna see an actual demo of it because this is just less fun when it's already done. So we are going to put it to the test. We're gonna take it out for a demo and we wanna make sure that we're covering all the questions you might still have. If you have any, please leave them in the comments below so that we know to address it in our next video. And make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Did you like that video? Would you like more? Yeah, yeah. No, I, wasn't, I, I wasn't talking to you. My bad. If you like the video and would like more, make sure you like and subscribe this one and slap that notification bell. And if you have any questions, just give us a call or email us. We even have facts if you're into that. 
And if you're still doom scrolling, make sure you check out one of these videos here. Thanks for watching. <laughs> bing, bing. Sorry, am I breaking it? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I hope not, right? <laughs>